Welcome to Blossoming by Grace and Grit. This is our journey with God. The name of our devotional today is Intimacy That Satisfies. But first, let us pray. Father God, thank you so much, my Lord. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your presence, your grace, your mercy, your forgiveness. Thank you, Father God, for your compassions, my Father. Mercies that are new every morning, God. Thank you, my Lord, for your word in Psalm 67 that says, May God be merciful and bless us. May his face shine with favor upon us. May your ways be known throughout the earth, your saving power among people everywhere. May the nations praise you, O God. Yes, may the nations praise you. How glad the nations will be, singing for joy, because you govern them with justice and you direct the actions of the whole world. May the nations praise you, O God. Yes, may all the nations praise you. Then the earth will yield its harvest, and God, our God, will richly bless us. Yes, God will bless us, and people all over the world will fear him. Thank you, my Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we praise you and we thank you. May you be always blessed, praised, and honored, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Intimacy that satisfies. Deuteronomy 6.5 reads, Love the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all of your soul and with all of your strength. We live in a world that normally thinks of intimacy in terms of close encounters of the physical kind. The intimacy offered by our shallow, sometimes shabby society is cast in terms of apparel, one-night stands, colognes, video titles, evenings of candlelight and red wine, luxury cars, and voyeuristic exchanges on the internet or on in some smoke-filled nightclub. Our heart's mind and desires may be lured to these counterfeit offers of intimacy, but they are not what our soul craves. Every time we dip into these buckets, we eventually come up empty. And I might add, not only disappointed, but frequently injured. The Apostle Peter warns us to abstain from fleshly lust because they wage war against the soul. 1 Peter 2:11. The intimacy we long for is found in a growing relationship with the one who is perfectly suited to satisfy and sustain us. True intimacy is what we enjoy as we grow more deeply conscious of connected to and confident in God and Him alone as our own failing resource of life. Intimacy is developed as we lean on Him, trust in, obey, and love our God. It can't be purchased at the corner newsstand, nor it can be pursued in the market, on vacations, or through the hottest of social calendars. When it comes to the joy of intimacy, they are the small talk of life compared to the deep satisfaction that comes from profound soulish interaction with God, who alone can fill our souls. Our lives need to be aimed in the direction of a deepening love relationship with our Lord in every fiber of our being. We were built for intimacy with God. We were redeemed to enable our souls to reclaim the privilege, remove the layers of life, lust, and distractedness that keep us from hearing the cry of our soul. And as the deer pants for the water brooks, so my soul pants for thee, O God. Psalm 42.1 has your heart ever been longing and loving somewhere else? Has your heart fell to the longing of something that you're looking for and yet you haven't found? My friend, I encourage you to look to Jesus. I encourage you to look. There's nowhere else. Only Jesus can satisfy that craving, that longing, that desire, that need. My Lord God, thank you so much for this message. We thank you and we bless your holy name. You created us, my Father. You made us to crave, to crave security, to crave love, to crave companionship. You made us with a craving of intimacy, my Father. 
but the true intimacy only can come from you. It can only be experienced, my Lord, with you, by you, and for you, and with you, God, because you encompass every fiber, every measurement of our being, my Father, with your love. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for looking upon us. Thank you for shining your face, your light, your smile upon us every single day, upon our families, upon our friends, my Father. And we pray for those people that still have not reached the kingdom of God. We pray for those, my Father, that we pray for, God, that you listen to our prayers, my Father. And those, my God, that are far gone, that may be separated, that may have turned their back, I pray, my Father, mercies and grace over them. Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. My friend, I remind you to play in the light, play in the sunshine, dance in the rain. I remind you, if you are driving a vehicle, please drive polite. And I encourage you to keep on smiling because God loves you so very much. Until we meet again, have a beautiful and blessed day. This is a prayer to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Father God, thank you so much, my Lord, for Jesus. Thank you so much that I realize that I am a sinner and that I need a Savior, God. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the precious blood that was shed on the cross at Calvary for me, for my sins. Lord Jesus, I ask you forgiveness for every one of my sins. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. I give you my word that from this day forward, I will follow you. I will read the word, I will go to church, and I will spend time with you, Lord Jesus. I want to get to know you more. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making something of my life that is worthwhile, something wonderful. Thank you, Lord, for accepting me as your son, as your daughter, into the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord, for your love, for your great grace. In your name I pray, Lord Jesus. Thank you for receiving me today. Amen. My friend, if you have made this prayer, if you have said this prayer, I congratulate you for because today there is a celebration in heaven. The Bible says that when one sinner repents, there is a celebration. In other words, there is a party in the kingdom of God. And so I congratulate you because it is the absolute best decision that you will ever make or have ever made in your life. Many blessings to you and to your family. In Jesus' name, amen.